Hello, I'm David Blasco. I'm happy to be here to present this teaching demo. In this lesson, we will learn about the simple verbs. After, we will learn about the continuous verbs. Then, we will have a short quiz on these verbs. And finally, we will learn how to write a narrative paragraph. First, let's learn about simple verbs actions. You must remember that simple verbs actions focus on the result. For unfinished actions that are more permanent, you may say, I've worked for this company for 25 years. This is an unfinished action. I still work for the company. It looks like it's more permanent. I'm not looking for a new job and not applying any new jobs. I'm not planning to leave the company. Also, you may say, I love Latin music. That's the result. Until now, you love listening to Latin music. Simple verbs also express completed actions. For example, you may say, I went home and had a party. I have memorized all the vocabulary. We have done our homework. What does it mean? That means that you are done doing something. It is finished. You are done. You don't need to do it anymore. Simple verbs may be used for unfinished past actions and which have lasted until today and they may keep going in the future. For example, I've been writing my thesis for three years. I've been writing my thesis since 2019. Now I'm still writing my thesis and I may write it next year or so. Simple verbs are also used for past actions, past actions that are finished. For example, I ate dinner at 6 p.m. Now it is 8 p.m. So I already ate dinner. This action is finished. I don't need to eat anything anymore. Now let's move to the continuous verbs. Remember that continuous verbs focus on the action, the process or the activity. You may use the continuous verbs for ongoing actions that are temporary. For example, you may say, I usually work at the university, but I have been teaching online ever since the pandemic started this is an action that started in the past. It is unfinished. I am still working at home. It is only temporary. Because I will work at the university in the future. You may use the continuous verbs for ongoing actions, such as I've been studying for three hours. Remember, for three hours. I've been studying for three hours or we have been writing our dissertation since last year. Since last year, we have been writing our dissertation since last year. This is temporary. It will be finished in the future. Now let's move to continuous verbs. Continuous verbs may be used for past actions past actions that are happening until now. They are temporary and they will not happen in the future. For example, I am doing homework now. I am eating lunch now. From the past until now, you are eating, but 
After that, you will not have to eat anymore. So, these are the continuous verbs. Continuous verbs may also be used for temporary past actions. Actions that took place in the past and that are finished. You do not need to do anything today. For example, consider these sentences. I was doing my homework. That means that you do not need to do my, your homework today. I was eating lunch. I was eating lunch. That means that you do not need to eat lunch anymore. I was sitting on the bus. You are not sitting anymore today because you arrived to your destination. Finally, you may also consider this sentence. I was working yesterday. I was working yesterday. You were working yesterday, but you don't need to work today. This is a finished or completed action. When you want to express an idea, the first step is to be able to make the distinction between the two. And the second step is to use the right tense. Now, let's take a quick quiz. This is the first sentence. The celebrity admired the most. Will you use simple verbs or continuous verbs? Well, this is an unfinished action that is permanent. You admire him now, and you will admire him in the future. So you have to use simple verbs. The second idea is to meet someone famous. Would you use a simple verb or a continuous verb? Well, this answer is a simple verb because it's something that happened before. For example, you may ask your friend, have you ever met Justin Bieber? Your friend will answer, not really. I have seen him once at a concert. The third idea is to get a good workout. Would you use a simple verb or a continuous verb? Well, the answer is a simple verb because it's something that happened before. For example, when did you get a good workout? You may answer, I got a good workout yesterday. I was worn out. The fourth idea is to do something for a living. Would you use a simple verb or a continuous verb? Well, the answer is a simple verb because it's a permanent situation. You have to go to school or the office every day. For example, you may say, I went to school yesterday and I have to go to school today. The fifth idea is to do something fun lately. Would you use a simple verb or a continuous verb? Well, the answer is a simple verb because it's something that happened before. There's the word lately. For example, you could ask someone this question. Have you done anything fun lately? Your friend may answer that he or she has not done anything special because she has not taken any vacation in over a year. Finally, the sixth idea is to sit on a bus. Would you use a simple verb or a continuous verb? Well, the answer this time is a continuous verb because it's a finished action that is temporary. You could use either I am sitting on a bus or I was sitting on a bus. 
depending on the time of event. Now we are going to learn how to tell a story. First, you will have to think about a time in your life when you had to do something difficult. What did you have to do? How did you feel? How did you feel afterwards? Well, we have to write a story about that time. How are we going to start? That is the question. First, let's learn about what is a narrative paragraph. What is its purpose? Its purpose is to tell a story from your life so well that the readers feel like they were there at the time of event. When you write a narrative paragraph, you have to remember to write the topic sentence and the supporting sentences, as well as the conclusion. The topic sentence gives the reader some background information. It introduces you as the main character. And also, it gives some idea of what will happen in the story. The supporting sentences must support the topic sentence because they tell the story by explaining the sequence of events. Also, they give sensory detail as well as how the writer felt during the event. So, you have to think about a time in your life when you had to do something difficult. But how to do that? You need to explore your topic. And there are four writing techniques to do that. The first writing technique is the free writing. You may write for 20 minutes, then you stop. And you read your notes and you will find some ideas. The second writing technique is brainstorming. You may gather together with your friends or your classmates and generate some ideas together. The third writing technique is clustering. You may use a diagram to generate ideas. You will use one keyword and generate ideas around this keyword. And the fourth writing technique is to do some research at the library if you want to develop your ideas to bring some extra comments to your story. Remember that you have to tell a story from your life. You will have to use simple verbs and you will have to use a time of event. If you want to write the topic sentence, it will look like this. Last year, my teacher asked me to give a presentation. The verb ask is a simple verb and it matches the time of event last year. So last year, my teacher asked me to give a presentation. Let's move to the supporting sentences and the conclusion. The first supporting sentence is, I had to give a presentation and my feeling was that I was scared to death. The second supporting sentence is, I practiced a lot and my feeling is that I felt better and better. The third supporting sentence is, I felt confident and my classmates applauded. The conclusion is, I, it seemed difficult. I practiced a lot. And my feeling is that I gained more confidence. For this narrative paragraph, you will have to use simple verbs to express completed actions. For example, something that is done or something that is finished. I went home and had a party. I went home and had a party. <laughs> 